I have seen Shiki. Shiki Pro Max. But guess what? We move. Hi guys, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Cassandra Makolo and this is Kassem TV. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my experience as well as some challenges I face in my business. So I sell perfumes, everything fragrance from body sprays, body mist, perfumes, perfume oils, roll-ons and car diffusers. And I've been in this business for a couple of years right now and, and if you're also going through challenges, you're not alone on the table. So without much further ado, let's go right into the video. I've seen so, so many people who come into my DM and say, Cassandra, please recommend a perfume for me. And then you're like, do you have a budget? Uh -huh. You say no, I just want something that lasts long and has good quality and blah blah blah. And then I end up sending tons of pictures only for them to say, ah, this one is too expensive. Oh, don't you have the one of 2K? I just asked for your budget. <laughs> See, there are some that will come to you each time you post how much? You post today, how much? Tomorrow, how much? Tomorrow, how much? They don't buy. Continue. Their work is to be asking you how much and they will never buy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have family members and friends who feel entitled? I feel like they should not even pay for products that they get from you. And even the ones that want to pay on discounts. Like, imagine you're sending something for 10k and this person wants to get it for 6k. It's not even up to your cost price. Child. But guess what? We move. So to make this video even more relatable, I'm going to be working up to a few business owners and have them share their experience with us. So my name is Tony or Juliana. I'm a lash technician and a brow artist. And so far, the business has been good. Four years in the business now, at least since 2019, and it has been challenging in a whole lot of ways. First of all, learning and relearning a lot of skills because you have to keep upgrading, you move as the world is moving. And second, traffic. Ah. You don't want to know. Traffic is ethic, especially for we that we are doing home service. It is very ethic. See. I'm just coming from one home service and I'm dripping wet. Like I'm wet because of rain that beats me. It's not for children of God. But we move. Challenges I'm having uh, people dealing with people is actually a lot on its own, you know. So you have to deal with clients and sometimes you want to get angry but then they are your clients. You just have to, you know. So I have um some clients that say, Oh, I want my makeup to be soft, so I don't want this, I don't want that. And so people will be like, I want it to be this way, you know. It's just a lot, it's a whole lot. Dealing with people, it's a whole lot, but we just have to, you know. That, that's the field we find ourselves in so we have to be able to accommodate everybody everybody's welcomed and I'm, I'm able to adjust I am able to adjust to you know some people are actually naturally rude and some people are nice we have different kind of people so um, I've tried over the years to be able to adapt and accommodate everyone uh, other challenges I'm facing is traffic. We must talk about the traffic in Lagos. It's crazy. Uh, there's times where it felt like it's like... Yes, of course. Yes, yes. There was a time I felt like, uh, you know, let me just let me just forget about this stuff because products kept increasing in price you know you buy products very expensive and then the clients be like uh, are you not going to take this amount and when you tell them the products i'm using are expensive they tell you you don't use all of the products on my face but don't we are using this product on you so i actually wanted to give up another time when everything seems like it wasn't working like where i wasn't getting clients it was not working at that point then i knew i had to upgrade my skill i had to do more i had to put more effort actually it's consistency you know 
talk to a lot of people in the business that are ahead of me and I was advised to keep pushing. That's the word. I would advise anyone who's coming into the business or planning to come into the beauty business. The industry is not easy. A lot of competitions. A lot of people are doing better. But you have your clients. And your clients will always be your clients. You just have to be consistent. You just have to be good. You need to keep running. It's a race. You, need, you can't stop. Like, seeing everything is improving. Everything is upgrading you just have to go with the world thank you thank you so much you're welcome